Are you getting ready to update your ETT training tax, your state unemployment for California, and you're wondering how to do it for QuickBooks Online? I'm getting ready to do it for my own book, so I thought, why not share with you how to do it? If we've never met before, hello, I'm Candice Camper, and I love to help business owners and bookkeepers create confidence and simplicity with QuickBooks. So come look over my shoulder. All right, so you're gonna come in here and you're gonna make sure that you come over to taxes. That's what a lot of people think they're going to go under payroll. And they're going to find it there, but you don't. So make sure you go under taxes, scroll to the very bottom, and you're going to click on all filings and resources. And you're going to scroll over here to the right. And it says tax setup, click on tax setup. It's always good to do this because they move things on you. Just got to know how to click around for QuickBooks online. If you don't see it, just click. All right. So you're going to scroll down to right here where it says California tax. You're gonna click the little pencil. It's gonna have your identification number. Mine will be blurred out. And then you're gonna come down and it will have all your different rates. So it says state unemployment rate. You're going to click edit. It says grab your state tax notice and the effective date. So you're gonna click continue. You're gonna look at your actual document. It will tell you the date up here on the top. It says as of this date. So tax rate for my state unemployment is 2.6. It's actually the same as current, but I still punch it in there anyway. 2023, you have to put the little slashes in there. It doesn't like it if you leave them off. Uh, please enter an effective date that falls on a quarter. Okay, boom, click save. If you get that little notice, just Make sure you put the little dead set. Okay, I'm gonna refresh it. I'm gonna go back in and look at my ETT training deck just to make sure that that is actually updated as well. So you go ahead and click on it. You could do them both at the same time before. And then you click down here and you see ETT training tax. You'll notice it says it hasn't been updated. So I'll just click on it and keep it the same based off what it says on there. It's the top box right here. You're gonna look right there for that, okay? And then I'm gonna put in it gives you the rate. It's either zero or 0.1 and you put in your date. Make sure you add your little slashes. It's good just to update it even if it's been the same for years. Make sure you get this updated before you process your first payroll. If you already have, you may need to reach out to Intuit's support. Click on the little question mark up on the right. Let me know if this video helped you and leave a comment. Let me know. Did you get your stuff updated on time or did you have to reach out to Intuit? And put this on your calendar to do every single year. If you'd like to get these tips and tricks straight to your inbox, so you don't ever miss them in the future, go up above or down below. And if you are wanting to learn how to set up QuickBooks from A to Z, how to enter in your transactions all the way to verifying and reports, check out my confidence with QuickBooks program. And if you're thinking, I really want to get QuickBooks customized around my business this year, I want to know the best way to enter in your income or your expenses, how to read reports so you can actually understand them. You can also join me on my free customizing QuickBooks workshop. All you need to do is go to canscamper.com forward slash workshop. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you inside my next tip and trick. Bye.